Hey hedgehogs! Welcome to week number one of virtual learning. I've really missed all of you the past few weeks and I'm glad that we finally get to make some artwork together again. Since it's the first week, we're going to be setting ourselves up for success and giving ourselves a place where we can collect all the artwork that we make over the next few weeks. My favorite place to keep artwork, like drawings and paintings and collages, is in a sketchbook. Now, sketchbooks are a place where you can keep your artwork. This one is uh, kind of small. This is another sketchbook of mine. I'd say this is a medium-sized sketchbook. And this one is really big. Now, it doesn't matter what size your sketchbook is, as long as you can use it as a place to record your ideas, your drawings, and your artistic creations. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a sketchbook of your own at your house, using some things that you might just find laying around. Check it out. This type of sketchbook is called an accordion sketchbook. What you'll need is one sheet of paper. This could be from a notebook or regular old printer paper like I have. As long as it's around this size, you will be totally good. So the first thing we're gonna do with this paper is we're gonna fold it in half the hot dog way, nice and long. Then we'll open it back up and I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut right along this line. Okay, I'm gonna set one aside. I'm just looking at this one right now. Since this is going to be an accordion sketchbook, we need to make lots of folds. My first fold with this piece is going to be a hamburger fold. Nice sharp crease. Then another hamburger fold. And with my second paper, you guessed it, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Make sure the corners match up. Now, I'm going to open both sheets all the way up. And I want them to be... I'm going to fold each of them all the way up so we just see that small rectangle again. And I want them to be alternating folds like an accordion instrument. So one fold this way and one fold this way. For my last page, I'm gonna fold this kind of back the other way, like so. And you can see we've got a little accordion going on here. I'm gonna do that with my other half of the paper as well. One fold this way, one fold this way. It's kind of like a pattern. Left, right, left, right. Okay, so here I've got two papers that are folded in the same accordion style. Now, I'm going to grab some tape. Any kind of tape works. I'm going to be using masking tape. I'm going to actually take these two ends of my paper and I'm going to connect them with the tape just a little bit. Little tape here, flip it over, put some tape on the other side. So now, my two sheets of paper are totally connected, and I can fold it all the way up, just like this. And you can see, now I've got an awesome little accordion book happening. I'm going to make this one the cover. It's going to say, my 
sketch book. And a little smiley. So if you'd like, you can go through and number your pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and guess what? You can flip this whole book over, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more pages. That's a grand total of 15 pages in my sketchbook. Let's see if you can make a sketchbook like this at your home. Thanks for watching.